foot and heel pain, or more specifically, Achilles tendonitis and plantar fasciitis is common among athletes and those involved in weight training. Weightlifters, gym goers, and avid runners can experience foot pain when running or during exercises involving the lower leg muscles, such as calf raises, jumping squats, or leg press. It's something I struggled with for years. It is frustrating, painful, and demoralizing. I feel fix my foot pain and I will show you how to do the same. Hello, this is Nuruddin. In this video, I will show you step by step how to get rid of tendonitis in the foot and heel so you can train and work out without foot pain. For reference, here's the timestamp of this video. This is a two part video. In this explainer video, you will learn everything you need to know about foot pain, what causes it, why it happens, and the fastest way to fix it. The second video is a five to 10 minute treatment video where I show you step by step exercises to treat and get rid of tendonitis and pain in the foot. Before we begin, a quick medical disclaimer. I'm a personal trainer, nutritionist, physique athlete, and wellness coach. I've been lifting for 10 years. I transformed my body, but in the process, I experienced and struggled with several weightlifting injuries, including muscle injury pain and a Tendinitis. I was frustrated and fed up with the generic advice I was receiving from professionals I consulted with, such as ice and rest it, painkillers, and physical therapy. So I set out to solve this issue for myself. What I discovered worked so well for me. I've synthesized everything I've learned in over five years of research on this topic, and that's what I will be sharing with you. So this video is for informational purposes only. It is not medical advice. Foot pain can be a sign of a serious medical condition. It's always a good idea to consult with with your doctor to make sure there is no structural damage to the foot. One final point before we begin. You will hear me reference leg muscles or the leg several times in this video. By that, I mean the lower limb, the region of the leg below the knee. With that said, let's begin. What causes foot pain during exercise? The root causes of foot pain are muscle restriction, chronic inflammation, and magnesium deficiency muscle restriction. The leg muscles, specifically the gastrocnemius, soleus, and fibularis longus are accustomed to stress from continuous daily use. Over time, the leg muscles naturally become stiff, tight, and lose their elasticity. Muscle restriction occurs when inelastic muscle fibers become shortened and unable to release and lengthen back to their normal relaxed state. In the case of foot pain, running a marathon, taking an unusually long walk, using worn footwear, lifting a weight that is too heavy with your legs, or using bad weightlifting form during a leg workout shock and strains the leg muscles and causes them to become restricted. This is usually the trigger that initiates foot pain. When the leg muscles get restricted, they become shortened and they get tighter. These tight muscles pull and put tension on the foot tendons and joints. As a result, it inflames the foot tendons and causes foot pain when lifting, running, walking, jumping, or simply standing for an extended period of time. Chronic inflammation. Physical activities such as running and weight training build and strengthen muscle, but it also inflames tendons, ligaments, and joints in the body. When the workout targets or involve the leg and foot, it inflames the foot tendons and joints. Inflammation of the foot tendons causes a burning sensation of pain in the foot. This condition is known as tendonitis. More specifically, pain in the heel is Achilles tendonitis and pain felt under the foot or in the arch of the foot is plantar fasciitis. The burning feeling and pain around the foot are signs of acute inflammation, meaning the pain is temporary. 
With time, the body heals the foot tendons and the pain goes away. However, when the foot tendons cannot heal and recover and the inflamed tendon pain continues for three months or more, it becomes a chronic inflammatory condition. Chronic inflammation is a state where the inflammatory process that enables the body to heal injured muscle, tendon, and ligaments is not working and the body is no longer able to heal on its own. In this case, it leads to chronic tendon such as chronic Achilles tendonitis or chronic plantar fasciitis. Left untreated, chronic inflammation in the foot becomes degenerative and leads to irreversible deterioration of the foot joint. Magnesium deficiency. Calcium helps muscles contract. Magnesium helps muscles relax. When the body has excess calcium, which is often the case, muscles cannot relax and remain tense. When a muscle is tense, it pulls and puts tension on the tendons and joints, which inflame the tendons and causes pain. In this case, foot and heel pain. Magnesium also dissolves calcium and prevents calcification of soft tissues. Calcification occurs when there is excess calcium in the body. Calcification hardens soft tissues like tendons and muscles. In this case, calcification of the leg muscles and tendons leads to tendonitis and pain in the foot. According to the Magnesium Miracle, which is a scientific reference on the health effects of magnesium on the body, heavy exercise, physical activity, and factors such as caffeine, stimulants, diuretics, stress, and dehydration deplete magnesium in athletes. As such, it is crucial for athletes and those involved in weight training to actively replenish muscle magnesium levels in the body. To summarize, the causes of tendonitis and pain in the foot when lifting weights or during exercise are 1. Muscle pain caused by tense and restricted leg muscles. 2. Inflammatory tendon pain caused by strain and inflammation of the Achilles tendon and the tendons at the bottom of the foot. 3. Magnesium deficiency, which causes muscle pain and tendon pain. Overview. 3 steps to fix foot pain. To fix foot and heel pain, we need to do three things. One, reduce chronic inflammation to heal inflamed tendons in the foot. Two, replenish muscle magnesium levels to decalcify the leg muscles and the foot tendons. This step helps relax tense leg muscles, which help lessen foot pain. Three, release restricted leg muscles to improve muscle pliability. This can provide instant relief for foot or heel pain. It's that simple. If a person does these three steps, they can eliminate or significantly reduce foot pain, including Achilles tendonitis and plantar fasciitis. I cover how to reduce chronic inflammation using a plant-based diet and magnesium therapy in the Titanium Physique Step 1 and Step 3 videos. So in the rest of this video, I'll focus on how to release restricted leg muscles. How to fix foot pain. I mentioned previously there are two types of tendonitis that cause pain in the foot when lifting weights or during exercise, Achilles tendonitis and plantar fasciitis. Achilles tendonitis is a type of tendonitis where pain occurs at the heel of the foot. To fix and get rid of it, we need to target and release the muscles at the back of the leg, specifically the gastrocnemius and soleus. When these posterior leg muscles become restricted, they pull on on the Achilles tendon and cause pain at the heel of the foot. Next, plantar fasciitis is a type of tendonitis where pain occurs under the foot in the arch of the foot. To fix and get rid of it, we need to target and release the fibularis longus. This is a muscle on the outside part of the leg and it supports the arch of the foot. In addition, we also need to release the flexor digitorum longus. Like the fibularis longus, the flexor digitorum longus inserts into the bottom of the foot. When the fibularis longus and the flexor digitorum longus get restricted, they pull on the tendons at the bottom of the foot and cause pain in the arch of the foot. If any of this sounds 
even slightly confusing, don't worry, I assure you it's simple. The good thing is you can do it all in the comfort of your home. I've got a video that will show you step by step how to do it. We will discuss that video in just a moment. The fastest and easiest way to correct restricted muscles and relieve foot pain. In this part of the video, I would like to discuss the best method to release the collective group of muscles we just discussed. This group of muscles include the soleus, gastrocnemius, fibularis lungus, and flexor digitorum lungus. There are three general options to release these muscles. Massage therapy or other forms of manual therapy, vibrating massagers, and physical therapy, which includes stretching and mobility. Massage therapy. Massage therapy is effective for treating pain caused by injured muscles and tendons, such as foot pain. However, it is necessary to get multiple massage treatments over an extended time, which can be expensive, making this solution impractical for most people. In addition, most people don't like the intense pain during a therapeutic dip tissue massage. Some people tense up during this type of treatment, which makes it counterproductive. However, the main reason I do not recommend massage therapy and other forms of manual therapy is to fix chronic foot pain as well as counteract and prevent foot pain, it is necessary to treat the leg muscles often. So unless someone has the resources to see a manual therapist two to three times a week indefinitely, this solution is not sustainable. Vibrating massagers. When you apply vigorous vibration to a chronically stiff and tight muscle, it can trigger the muscle to tense up and get tighter. This is because the muscle is inelastic and cannot absorb the shock of the vibration. Most people find that their muscles get tense and tighter after using a vibrating massager. For this reason, I don't use vibrating massages and do not recommend them when treating chronically tight muscles. Physical therapy, stretching, and mobility. Stretching will help lengthen a muscle and it helps reduce muscle pain and joint pain. However, stretching a chronically tight muscle will not lengthen the muscle and alleviate pain. Before you can lengthen the muscle, first it is necessary to release restricted muscles. Then you can stretch the muscle to lengthen it and alleviate pain. So physical therapy, including stretching and mobility are important, but they are not the solution. So what is the best method? Self myofascial release tools. Self myofascial release tools, AKA SMR tools. The fastest and easiest way to fix and get rid of tendonitis and pain in the foot is to use myofascial release tools. Here are four reasons why I use and recommend them. One, they are generally inexpensive, so cost is not an issue. Two, they are effective with trigger point therapy. Trigger points are specific areas in the body where muscle often become knotted and cause pain. I will show you how to easily identify those muscles and because you know and can feel exactly where the pain is in your leg, you can easily target those trigger points yourself. Three, you can use these tools in the comfort of your home as many times as needed. Additionally, these tools are durable and last many years, so it is a sustainable solution. Finally, because you'll be performing the treatment yourself, you can control the pressure. As such, the body can remain relaxed throughout the treatment for better and faster results. Here is a quick summary. To fix tendonitis and pain in the foot, we need to release restricted muscles in the leg. The three common treatment options are massage therapy, vibrated massages, and physical therapy, which includes stretching and mobility. However, these options are ineffective or unsustainable. The best method and the fastest way to release restricted leg muscles is to use self myofascial release tools. Foot pain SMR treatment video. I've created a simple to follow SMR treatment video for foot pain. Myofascial release is a safe and effective technique that involves applying gentle sustained pressure to a restricted muscle or trigger point to eliminate pain and restore motion. The foot SMR video is a five to 10 minute 
treatment routine where I show you step-by-step -step exercises to treat and fix foot pain. You can use this treatment routine either at the gym or in the comfort of your home. You will need some SMR tools, specifically a rad peanut ball, rumble roller, physiorite, and trigger points muscle roller. It's important to use the right tools to get results. If a person uses the wrong tools, the results are going to be frustrating and demoralizing. I've tested a lot of these tools to find the best and most effective ones. So if you don't already have these specific tools, make sure to grab them so you'll have them when you're ready to get started. You can find a link to these tools in the menu section of the members dashboard or the mobile app. Foot pain treatment versus prevention. In this part of the video, I would like to discuss the difference between treatment versus prevention for foot pain. The treatment routine we will be using to fix foot pain is the same routine we will use to prevent foot pain from coming back. The difference between treatment and prevention is how often we apply the routine. For example, to treat chronic foot pain, we need to work on the leg muscles every other day. One day treatment and the next day rest to allow the muscles to recover. For faster results, you can work on the leg muscles two times a day, once in the morning and then once at night. You want to get to the point where the leg muscles don't feel tender during treatments. Muscle tenderness is pain or discomfort when pressure is applied to the affected muscle. Once the tender feeling in the leg muscle is gone or significantly reduced, you have effectively released the restricted muscle causing pain. From there, we want to maintain the new level of muscle elasticity to prevent the muscle from getting restricted again. For prevention, use the same routine in the treatment video two to three times a week to counteract and prevent foot pain. Keep in mind, the more you run, if you're a runner, or the heavier you lift with your legs, if you do weightlifting, the more often you'll have to apply this routine to keep the leg muscles pliable and healthy. One final and important point to keep in mind. Muscles support and stabilize the joints. When muscles become tight, the joints adapt to the tightness of the muscle to maintain stability. Likewise, when muscles become more pliable and elastic, the joints must readjust to the new elasticity of the muscle. This means when you start applying the routine in the treatment video and the leg muscles begin to release, the foot and knee joints will need to get used to the increased range of motion in the leg. The leg muscles attach to both the knee and foot, so both joints are impacted. During this time, you might feel a slight and temporary discomfort in the knee and foot. This is normal and usually lasts two to three days after treatment. During that readjustment phase, the knee and foot joints are susceptible to instability during movements, which causes that slight discomfort. One way to help the knee and foot joints adapt faster is to perform knee mobility exercises. Mobility exercises improve range of motion, joint stability, and muscle strength by controlling the muscles around the joints. I've created a simple to follow knee mobility exercise video in a series called Power Strength Mobility. It's a five to 10 minute video. To summarize, you can use the SMR routine in the foot treatment video every other day to treat and fix foot pain. When you get to the prevention phase where your foot feels great and you can lift weights, run or work out without foot pain, use the foot SMR routine two to three times a week to keep the leg muscles pliable and healthy going forward. During the prevention phase, you can use the foot SMR routine the night before any lower body workouts. It's also beneficial to use the foot SMR routine after your lower body or leg workouts, ideally two to three hours after the workout. This practice will help the leg muscles recover faster for the next workout. We've covered a lot of information in this video. If any of this is new, some of it might sound confusing like it was for me when I first started to learn some of this. If that's the case, I encourage you to go back and listen to this video or the audio program as many times as necessary. That way you will have the foundational information necessary to fix and counteract foot pain. Once I understood this information and implemented it in my fitness routine, it's allowed me to eliminate and counteract Achilles tendonitis and plantar fasciitis 
changes for the last four years. Get in started. To get started, check out the foot pain treatment video in the Titanium Physique members dashboard or mobile app. Be sure to also check out the knee mobility exercise video. Thanks and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.